service the system. So really it's just production. It's all about numbers, you know, anything besides that doesn't matter. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this one because I ain't never heard. I, I, I don't think I, anybody really heard of this one. Um, I actually had another guy in mind. And when I saw this kid, uh, I, I stopped in my tracks and I was like, yeah, I think this guy, um, they have him going in about the third to fifth round. So a couple <laughs> of sites have him third to fifth round. Um, a, a, a couple of guys have him undrafted. Um, but like we said before, um, we see guys like Michael Pruitt. We see guys, um, Anthony Ferkser. These guys tend to fit well in in this particular scheme. And you got to understand, it's about this particular scheme. Uh, and this guy is Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Not um, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Ben not, Simmons. Not, just, not, it's not actually his, Ben Simmons. Not, okay? not. Looking at that picture, his name need to be Pram Manus. <laughs> his name need to be Pram Manus. Hey, this dude, he's tall. Long ass, them long ass on. <laughs> he's long. And the thing I like about him is that he's fluid. One of the things that I want to kind of get away from, uh, if I'm if I'm Arthur Smith, is to be able to put this guy in the middle of traffic. I don't want Kyle Pitts um, doing too much as far as hanging around the line of scrimmage. Um, this guy just smooth when it comes to uh, pass protection. Uh, pass protection, I mean pass protection, but uh, route running, um, his ability to catch it out of the backfield. And what really stood out to me the most, it wasn't really his ability, it's his stats that really stood out to me. Um, and that's probably weird coming from me to be able to say this, but this kid had 31 receptions. And out of those receptions, out of 31 receptions, this dude had six touchdowns. <laughs> Those six touchdowns were absolutely um it's, it's it's crucial because when you have a guy like Kyle Pitts, all the attention is gonna be on him. So if you have a guy um, like Ben Sims, um he goes by six four, two fifty. Mm -hmm. So he's around the same size as a Michael Pruitt. So if you don't bring Michael Pruitt back and you want to kind of bring uh put another guy. In that role, the Anthony Ferguson role, if John Fitzpatrick doesn't um, play well or get any better next year, I think he's the best. Um, I think he's the best guy um, to be that that third and fourth tight end because you got to understand the Falcons they load up on tight ends. They load up, load up on tight ends, and I don't think Felipe Franks will be back uh, next year as a as a tight end. So get this guy uh, with his like like I said. If you you look at him, check out his tape, man. He's smooth as hell, bro. Hey, he's damn. smooth as hell. Boy, damn the tape, boy. He got the Rajon Rondo arms, boy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, just line him up outside. They line him up outside. They line him inside. They use him in the back as a as a um, kind of hot like the Atlanta Falcons use. Uh, Parker Hesse, and I'm sick of Parker Hesse. So I look, I, I he, he needs to learn how to catch the damn ball. Um, but yeah. this guy, like I said, when you see him play, you'll say, Oh, damn, he might be a little something. So I'm interested mm -hmm. to see what his his pro days are going to look like because I, I doubt um, that he'll be at the combine. But you go to his pro day, the Baylor pro day, I think this kid is going to he's going to wow a few people. I don't know about his blocking. He's a little bit uh I'll compare him to a um if there was an Atlanta Falcons, I wouldn't I wouldn't say Levine to a little out more than I, I would probably say um I'll go I'll go with Ben Hartstock. Ben Hartstock, he a little bit more athletic. He's a little bit more athletic. No, you know what? No, 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 no. I take he, it back. Eric he, Sober. Eric, Eric so, so yeah, it, that's that's kind of what because like he's very like I said he's athletic 
but he's willing to get dirty. He's willing to get the dirty in the fight. That's that's Arthur Smith. He's a guy. He's a tight end guy. He's an offensive line guy. So he knows how to uh, get these guys uh, ready, especially the tight ends. Um, he can create. He, he can make you know uh, something and nothing out of something. Yeah, especially with a tight end. Yeah. But. <laughs> 